Hi guys, it's Max from High on Android.com, where we get <sighs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to disassemble the LG G6. Let's go do this, baby. All right, before we begin, you'll need some couple guitar picks. Um, you can get a plastic screwdriver from Jerry Rick Everything, all right? Uh, or you can get some plastic knives, all right? And also a number zero zero screwdriver. And of course you'll need a heat gun. You will also need a suction cup. Uh, this is a $5 suction cup uh, for car mount that you can also use as a car mount. I'll have a link on where you can buy this. First, you'll want to use the heat gun to heat up the back of the phone. Then put the suction cup towards the bottom of the phone. Apply some more heat gun to the bottom of the phone. Uh, you also need a very sharp knife to get between the glass. I'm just using a box knife. Go ahead and heat up the bottom of the phone, then stick your sharp knife between the gop of the back glass and the phone. Next, take a guitar pick and slowly move up the side. Apply some more heat using the heat gun and repeat the process until the whole back glass comes off. Boom shakalaka. Baby. All right, as you can see here, this is the back cover. This is made from Gorilla Glass 5. You got your fingerprint sensor there and contacts uh, to the main board. Also note the waterproofing is actually done through all this tape, all right? Uh, once you disassemble it, you're probably gonna lose waterproofing um, unless you actually replace the adhesive perfectly, all right? I may have another video on that, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and disassemble it. Also, don't forget to take the SIM card tray out. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and take all these screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's actually a hidden one right here, so make sure you take this out also. Uh, there's 11 screws, all right? Slowly pull the wireless charging unit, which is stuck with adhesives. Carefully pull the top part of the plastic assembly out. If it gets stuck, try wiggling the bottom right of it, and it should pull out. After that, the bottom speaker assembly should also easily pop out. The battery is stuck with adhesive. To get it out, First, disconnect the battery connector, heat it with heat gun, then pry out with any flat plastic tool. Alright, once that's out, it's pretty easy to do. Simply undo the front camera connector at the top and also the LCD and additional connector. So one, two, three, you can pop them out. Once those three connectors are disconnected, the motherboard will easily slip out. Hi, the coolest part about LG G6 is that it actually has a, almost a heat sink that comes out here. And I believe this is actually attached to the frame. Um, so the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 does not get super hot. Now there is a thermal paste. So when you put it back, you'll have to put new thermal paste. And you can see that's where the CPU is, right there. All right guys, if you guys want to replace the screen because you cracked it, uh, I would not try to just replace the screen because the LCD is attached by adhesive. If you just replace the screen itself, you're gonna probably lose your waterproofing, all right? Um, usually with most phones, you can buy the assembly along with the LCD digitizer, all right? Like places like AliExpress. I would buy that and you may have to replace the USB uh, here. Just take it out and put it in the new one. You'll probably have to um, just go ahead and pull the front camera out and put it on the new one also. But otherwise, you should be able to get a full assembly for like 50 bucks more. That's my recommendation. Now, my friend Jerry Rig Everything has a video where he actually takes the LCD out. It's actually pretty easy to do. Again, I would not do that because you're going to totally lose your waterproofing. Um, just because how sensitive these phones are. Okay, so this is the main camera uh, that has uh, OIS. So that's how the OIS works. The lens moves 
uh, to counterbalance your shakes, all right? Whereas the wide angle does not have OIS. Uh, obviously, it's a wide angle. You really don't need a uh, uh, OIS because it's wide angle. But if you break these, you can simply pop them out and replace it. It's really easy to do. To reassemble, first, you'll want to clean up the thermal paste and apply new thermal paste. Go ahead and clean off all the existing thermal paste. You need some soju or your favorite bottle to clean it. For thermal paste, you can use PC thermal paste like Optic Silver. Simply put a simple drop of it. Carefully put the motherboard back on. Next, connect the front camera connector. Then connect the two connectors at the bottom. And the US models do have wireless charging. This is the wireless charging unit, which is kind of cool, uh, but you do lose the hi-fi audio that the Koreans get. Next, put the battery back in and also connect the battery connector. Carefully place the top plastic assembly back on first. It should all snap into place easily. Then put the bottom speaker assembly back on. This should all snap into place. Lastly but not least, go ahead and screw all the screws back in. That is 11 screws total. Now, if you absolutely need waterproofing, you'll want to replace the adhesives with new ones and make sure to apply them perfectly. For now, I'm just going to reuse the adhesive. Carefully put the back cover back on, apply some heat gun and keep pressing down on the back cover until it is flush. Power on your phone if it powers up, congrats. Once turned on, check and make sure everything is working, such as 4G LTE, front camera, back camera, etc, etc. Now, do you guys like horses? Anyway, that's how you disassemble and reassemble your LG G6. And if you haven't yet, definitely check out my freezing test of the LG G6. And I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.